The Earth, where we all live and thrive, is about 71% of water and is mostly found in a form of oceans. From the surface, these oceans look like a really large puddle of water. But when you go deep inside them, you'll find outstanding secrets that can make you go wow. The lost city of Atlantis is a mythical city that is said to have existed thousands of years ago. It was first mentioned by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato more than 2,300 years ago. According to him, Atlantis was located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which in today's world is said to be the Strait of Gibraltar, which connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. Plato mentioned that the city consisted of one main island with multiple smaller islands surrounding it. The city had various exotic metals, rare animals, and state-of-the-art architecture, which made living in the city a wonderful experience. According to Plato, the Atlanteans started to become corrupt and greedy, which is why, as a punishment, this magnificent city one day vanished into the deep oceans after getting struck by cataclysmic earthquakes and floods in 9600 BC. Even though the story of Atlantis and the myth behind its existence is pretty popular, there is still no concrete evidence as to whether such a city ever existed. Many archaeologists believe that Atlantis was Plato's allegory and that it was just a representation of the perfect society that can never exist in reality. In 1892, Ignatius L. Donnelly in his book Atlantis, The Antediluvian World, came in support that Atlantis and Atlantinians existed. He believed that Atlantis now lies beneath the Atlantic Ocean covered by hundreds of feet of volcanic debris. He based his claims on the interpretation of various historical and mythological sources, including the writings of Plato, the Bible, and the legends of various cultures. Another author by the name of Charles Berlitz came in Donnelly's support in his book, The Mystery of Atlantis, and mentions that the Bermuda Triangle had swallowed the city. However, all of these claims are purely theoretical and no concrete evidence proving Atlantis's existence has ever been found. Another mystery of the ocean is the Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle. This is a region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean that is considered to stretch around Bermuda, Puerto Rico and the southern tip of Florida, making the shape of a triangle. The mystery behind this area is that many ships and aircraft have disappeared as soon as they enter the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle started gaining limelight in the mid-20th century, when several ships and aircraft disappeared after entering the region. The most famous is the disappearance of Flight 19 in 1945, when a group of five US Navy torpedo bombers vanished during a routine training exercise. Over the years, Many other ships and planes like Carol A. Deering and Douglas DC-3 have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle, leading people to believe that there may be supernatural or extraterrestrial forces at work. There have been numerous investigations looking to explain the disappearances inside the Bermuda Triangle, but there is still no clear answer to why it all happened. Many theories have suggested that the area has unpredictable weather patterns, which include sudden storms and high winds that can be catastrophic for ships and planes. Some researchers have suggested that it could be the methane hydrates causing explosions in the Bermuda Triangle that could sink ships or damaged planes flying over them. There have been rumors of an odd electronic fog in the Bermuda Triangle that might clash with navigational systems and lead to aircraft and ships deviating from their intended paths. There have been various reports of underwater anomalies present inside the Bermuda Triangle, but most of them lack scientific evidence. These underwater anomalies include the Bimini Road, which is said to be the remains of an ancient civilization present on the coast of Bimini. Another one is the Crystal Pyramid, which was founded by a team of researchers in 2012. Many people also claim that an ancient underwater city is located in the Bermuda Triangle, which is connected to the civilization of Atlantis. Lastly, many scuba divers have also found unique caves inside the Bermuda Triangle. The deep sea vents or hydrothermal vents are another unique findings within the ocean. These hydrothermal vents are fissures in the sea floor from where hot water rich in minerals is released 
into the ocean from beneath the ocean. These are typically found along the tectonic plate boundaries from where magma rises to the surface and warms the surrounding seawater. This water can reach over 400 degrees Celsius and contains sulfur, iron, and manganese. These unique vents are home to various unique and fascinating organisms that survive in these extreme conditions. These distinctive organisms are tube worms, giant clams, vent crabs, and various types of bacteria. These hydrothermal vents are important because they are the habitat of these bacteria that use chemosynthesis to convert the chemicals inside the vent into energy. This plays a vital role in the global oceanic ecosystem. Studying deep sea vents is crucial to understand the diversity of life and potential life on other planets. However, this comes with a challenge as these vents can be dangerous due to their extreme conditions. These dangers include high pressure which can be hazardous to human health. The extremely high temperature of over 400 degrees Celsius is dangerous as well as alongside the toxic fluid of the vent which includes high concentrations of sulfur, hydrogen sulfide and other chemicals. Another deep ocean discovery that captured the imagination of many people around the world is the underwater pyramids of Yonaguni in Japan. The Yonaguni pyramids are a series of mysterious underwater structures discovered in 1986 by a local diver named Kihachiro Aratake. The structures were located near the island of Yonaguni and were thus given the name. These structures include pyramids, castles, and other man-made structures. The Yonaguni pyramids are located 25 meters deep and are speculated to have been submerged underwater for thousands of years. These structures are made of sandstone and are as large as 150 meters in length and 27 meters in height. Many archaeologists and researchers believe that the Yonaguni pyramids are the result of natural rock formations which have been shaped over time by erosion and tectonic activity. However, others believe that these structures belonged to civilization, possibly dating back to the last ice age around 10,000 years ago. This claim was supported by the evidence of human construction, such as tool marks and carvings. There also have been speculations about the purpose of the Yonaguni monument, where one group believes that it was constructed as a religious site, and the other believes it to be a navigational aid or marker for sailors and seafarers. Lastly, another group of researchers believes that it may have been constructed for defensive purposes. Located 36,070 feet deep in the Western Pacific Ocean and 200 kilometers east of Marina Island, the Marina Trench is the deepest part of the world's oceans. It is crescent-shaped and measures about 2,550 kilometers in length and 69 kilometers in width. It is so deep that if Mount Everest were to be placed into the trench at this point, its peak would still be underwater by more than 2 kilometers. Since it is the deepest part of the ocean, the Marina Trench is significant for several reasons. First, it gives the researchers a unique opportunity to better understand the extreme conditions of the deep ocean, like high pressure, cold temperature, and darkness. This would allow them to discover a unique set of species such as giant amphipods, tube worms, and sea cucumbers. Secondly, the Marina Trench is a key part of the global ocean circulation system and helps in regulating the Earth's climate. Since it is shaped like an arc, cold and dense water sinks to the bottom and flows into the deep ocean and comes back to the surface in another part of the world. This allows to evenly distribute the heat and nutrients throughout the ocean. Lastly, the Marina Trench allows geologists to study the unique geological processes that occur at the trench. One of these unique processes is the movement and collision of two tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Plate. This movement and collision can result in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which can significantly impact ecosystems. In recent years, researchers have discovered a wide range of new and unusual species in the Marina Trench that have adapted to the extreme conditions of the deep oceans. These species include giant amphipods, transparency cucumbers, and new species of jellyfish, shrimp, and snails. 
Apart from discovering species, scientists have also discovered some potentially useful compounds in the marina trench. One of these is a compound from a deep-sea sponge that has shown promise in fighting cancer cells. There are other compounds that could potentially treat viral infections and neurological disorders. These were some of the wonders of the ocean, but there is still a lot that we have yet to explore and discover about the ocean. It is estimated that we have explored less than 5% of the world's oceans, which means that there is still much to learn about the deep sea and the life that inhabits it.